All right, y'all, let's get into the story from Twitter, courtesy of Colin Rugg. Mark Driscoll. Let me zoom in in here. Mark Driscoll. Pastor Mark Driscoll gets kicked off of stage at a men's conference after he calls out Pastor John Lindell for allowing a demonstration from a male stripper. The incident happened at the Stronger Men's Comfort Conference in Springfield, uh, Missouri. After Vegas stripper and sword swallower, that sounds crazy, Alex Magala did a performance with his shirt off, Driscoll got on stage and condemned the performance. Lindell then told Driscoll he was out of line, kicked him off stage while citing Matthew, <laughs> Matthew 18. Um, okay, a couple of things. <clears throat> I'm not very familiar with Mark Driscoll at all. Like, I've obviously heard his name before. I've never watched one of his sermons before. I don't really know much about this guy at all. Um, I know he's a big name, but I don't really know who he is. I don't I don't follow him. Um, the same thing can be said about John Lindell. I have no idea who that guy is. So let me see who John Lindell is. Hold on. I'm going to show you the video. The video looks kind of crazy. I can already see some craziness in the video. I don't understand. Like, these men conferences are getting out of control. Why? I don't understand. Like, what are we doing? What happened to, like, you know, let's hang out. Let's maybe play some pool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Play some pool. Play some basketball. You know, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? Why Why are we hiring Vegas performers to come out to the men's uh, performance, to the men's conference? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, John Lindell. Who is John Lindell? John Lindell, James River Church. I'm just, I'm looking for some more context before I look, I watch. So this is John Lindell. This is Debbie Lindell. John Lindell. Uh, let me look at his... Uh, his Instagram. John Lindell. Let me see what his story is. Those who trust God will be trusted by God. What is this? Find Harrison Bucker jersey, but it gets better. Harrison. Uh, there is a stirring on the earth. Is this for the conference? Oh, okay. This is the conference link. Is this it? Stronger Men's Conference. So this is the one that just took place. Oh my goodness. $119? $119? What are the details? They did this out of... They selling out arenas? <laughs> This look like a monster jam, monster truck type of thing. I don't, what is happening? All right, hold on. Um, there's like no information about it. Uh, okay. What's the promo? Something is about to happen. That will make you. There is a stirring on the earth. Hold on. There is a stirring on the earth. Okay. What the heck is going on here? Stronger men's conference. Presence of the Lord. Powerful. I'm just. I don't want. I can't play the music because I can't. I can't get copyright. I'm just trying to figure out what this conference was about. This looks very weird. What the heck is going on at these conferences? Hold on. Do you see what they're doing? They got a monster truck. They boxing. What is going on here? Oh, okay. One black person. I'm trying to see, like, bro, I ain't seen no black people or nothing. There's a, there's one. All right. <laughs> um. Okay, I get it. 
My my question would be like, okay, Mark, why are you there in the first place? That would be my question. Um, but anyway, so now I'm not as surprised as to what was going on. So let's get back to the main article here on Twitter. Um, let's watch this video. This is from the moment that Mark got on stage after the performer. Uh, I'm nervous. But let me do this. Um... I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart. Okay, wait. I don't even. I can't. I don't even know if I could do this because it's. I need to do. I can't show the performance because it just. YouTube's not gonna like that. But you get the gist. You see what he's gonna do. Like I don't. I don't. We don't. We get it. We get it. And I want to be very careful with this, and it's not what I want to say, but the Jezebel spirit has already been here. The Jezebel spirit opened mm. mm -mm. event. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was a pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in a strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. That man then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. And then he swallowed a sword. Somebody said out of line. Did somebody say out of line, Mark? Hold on. It sounded like somebody said out of line, Mark. Listen in the background. Not arrogant. He doesn't us and our God is humble. He descends. And then he swallowed a sword. And Jesus cried. Okay, Pastor John, I'll receive that. Thank you. Oh, he run it. This is like WWE, bro. He, he jumped on stage like WWE, like Randy Orton or something. Okay, but like out of line or not out of line, like what do you think about the stripper who was at your event that you paid for to be there to entertain all these men? Okay. <laughs> what the heck is happening in these areas? I don't understand what's going on, bro. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Hold on, let me go through Twitter to see what else is, is up here because Justin Peters. See, Justin Peters, I don't I've seen him on YouTube. Once again, I've never listened to any of his messages. But he said Mark Driscoll should neither be praised nor defended. He is manifestly unqualified and disqualified from being a ministry. The little stunt he pulled for which he's garnering, garnering praise was just that, a stunt. It was a self, 
aggrandizing, showboating stunt that was done at a heretical wackadoodle church. Lord willing, I'll have a video. Okay. Um, <sighs> I don't understand what's happening here. I'm trying to figure out why he went to that event in the first place. Like I said, I don't know anything about these guys, but I know I'm definitely not going to that event. <laughs> definitely not. I just give me like just the old school, like men's conferences. Like we just let's just hang out. Let's chill. Let's eat some food. Let's hang out, like eat some wings or something, you know, play some football, play some darts, play some pool, you know, a little bit of poker. You like just keep it chill. Keep it like normal. And then, you know, let's go receive the word and be edified. OK, these photos are crazy. I'm glad I'm not sharing my screen because these photos are this is it, so who is this individual that they hired? <clears throat> who is this individual that they hired? What is this? I don't want to bring up old stuff. I've just, I don't know very much about Mark Driscoll. This, this sermon clip keeps coming up. I don't know. Look, this is just for my own personal research because I don't know who this dude is. You guys, it just, it's so frustrating. Some of you guys have been coming here for years. You still got your hands all over your girlfriend. Some of you guys have been coming here for years. You're still not praying with your wife. Some of you guys have been coming here for years. You're still single and having sex. Some of you guys will even, even, even as I'm preaching the sermon, some of you will be sitting next to your girlfriend or your fiance or your wife. Some of you guys have already given her that look. Don't cry. Don't let them know they're talking about me. Just hold it together. You've already intimidated her right ear. Some of you guys have already whispered in her ear. I don't want to hear it. We're not talking about this in the car on the way home. Some of you have already whispered in her ear. I'm sorry. I'll do better. Trust me. Let's just move on real quickly. How dare you? think you are abusing a woman neglecting a woman being a coward a fool being like your father Adam who do you think you are you are not God you are just a man you're not an impressive man you're not a responsible man you're not a noble man you're not a respectable man you're not a responsible man in any regard. I don't care how successful you are in this area. If you are a failure, it clouds all of your dignity. It robs all of your masculinity. There is no excuse for any man who claims the name of Christ to treat a woman in a dishonorable, disrespectful way. Some of you right now, you guys will get all angry. Oh, how dare he yell at me? That's the Holy Spirit telling you, it's you. I didn't name you, he did. You change now, little boy. You change right now. You shut up, you put your pants on, you get a job, you grow up, and maybe one day you can love a woman. Little boy is it's crazy. It's for men, not for boys. Mm. And those of you men who are here and your wives are suffering under your folly and failure, shame on you. And shame on you if you say you're a Christian. And shame on you if you've been attending Mars Hill. And shame on you if you've been surrounded by good men and have pursued none of them. And shame on you if you've not become a member and submitted to spiritual authority. And shame on you if you've not joined a community group so you can walk in darkness. And shame on you if you show up to put communion in your hands representing the body and blood of your murdered Savior 
and then go put them on your girlfriend or download from the internet or raise your hand in a threat to your wife. Shame on you. You guys are a joke. Mm. And there's a handful of good men that are tired of picking up your mess. So you step up, you shut up, you man up, and you use all of that anger you have toward me right now to repent. You do business with God. I'm going to let you sit in this for a while. You don't go get your kids. You don't get up and leave. Mm. We're going to do something we've never done. We're going to pass the plate. You can give your tithes and offerings. Early on in the church, 1995 or 6, we didn't. I didn't want anyone to think bad of me. I have not led well in this area. We have people who come to this church every week. They don't worship. They take. They don't participate. We'll pass the plate. If you're disconnected, please fill out the visitor card. Thousands of people fall through the cracks. Don't lose this opportunity to get connected so we could help. That's a heck of a time to ask for some money. When you're ready, you take communion. But you men, you hear me this. You apologize to your wife before you take communion. Corinthians says if you don't, you'll drink judgment on yourself. God might even kill you right here to make an example of you. If you're here with your girlfriend, you apologize. Wait. If you're a he said God gonna kill you right now to make an example. You take communion, but you men, you hear me this. You apologize to your wife before you take communion. Corinthians says if you don't, you'll drink judgment on yourself. God might even kill you right here to make an example of you. Mm. He did say that. If you're here with your girlfriend, you apologize. If you're a little boy, you break up with her in love. Mm. What? And you tell her that you're not ready and that she deserves better because God's daughters need to be loved like Christ loved the church. When you're ready, when you've sat in it for a while, you take communion, you give of your tithes and offerings, and then you sing in repentance to Jesus. I do love you. I am furious with some men. And I believe that fury is God's. You are not cute, and he is not pleased. And time is short. Okay. That was Mark Driscoll. I see, th these are the things. I'm not tapped into these communities like this. There's only like maybe two preachers that I could think of off the top of my head that I consume on a regular basis. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I don't listen to very many preachers. Um, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, lit like, yeah, you shouldn't be having sex with your girlfriend. You shouldn't be having sex out of wedlock. You shouldn't be living together. You shouldn't be living in sin. All of those things. You shouldn't be doing that. But that delivery, that delivery was like, that That was not it. <laughs> the delivery was not it, in my opinion. I feel like he could have delivered that in a much more pastoral manner. Um, see, this is, these are the things I don't, so... I'm, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. So Driscoll resigned from Mars Hills in 2014 after an internal investigation of the church found Driscoll guilty of arrogance, a quick temper and leading in dominant in a domineering manner. He then moved to Scottsdale, Arizona and launched the Trinity Church, where some former staff have accused him of cult like actions like mandated loyalty. What does that mean? And 24 seven surveillance of mem. What does that mean? 24-7 surveillance of members? How much money do you have to have a 24-7 surveillance? Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just, that was just for my own personal research because I don't really know too much about Mark. But now I know a little bit more. And I'm even more confused now. But one thing remains the same. I don't know why he went to that conference. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me go to TikTok. Let me see if there's any reactions on TikTok. 
this would be a perfect video to like go live and <laughs> and look at these things. Uh, <clears throat> so that way y'all could kind of help me figure out what's going on at the same time. Um, Let's see if there's any reactions on TikTok. Mm. Okay, this is a popular reaction. 247,000 views. I don't know who this guy is. Let's see what it is. The reason why church. Ah, I can't do it. See, look, the music. Y'all got to stop. Stop using the music. <laughs> I could react to it, but y'all... I can't react to it if the music is in it because I'll get copyrighted. It'll take it down. Um, what is this? You got to keep praying. So basically what happened is over the weekend, just a few days ago, a ministry allowed a stripper and a sword swallower to enter into the house. I'm trying to tell y'all, sword, sword swallower is crazy. That word should be illegal because that is just insane. And to perform. And this pastor right here, his name is Pastor Mark Driscoll. I'm going to show you the video. Basically what he did, he, he outwardly condemned what had happened. And we'll talk about it afterwards. For you. Okay, we already seen this. Um, I mean, look. I mean, Mark was correct. There should be no place for that. But I kind of feel like you kind of already knew what you were kind of getting into to a certain extent. Like, you kind of already knew that this was probably going to be on some wacky stuff. Even just based on the promotion of the event alone. Like, the promotion of the event completely deviates from what the main goal should be, which is Jesus. The main thing should be Jesus, getting closer to Jesus, being stronger men in Christ. This just looks like a, a monster truck jam, WWE type of reality TV, crazy. I don't even know what's going on here. Like, this is way too much. Like, y'all spent way too much on this. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all let me know what you think. Get in my comments. Like this video uh, if you want to support the channel. I'm out, y'all.